Alright folks, welcome back to more RimWorld, episode 3 of this colony. We are 11 days into it. It's 11th of summer, it is 2am in the morning. Currently experiencing a rainy thunderstorm, which I have turned down the sound volume, so it is not as loud as it was at the end of the last episode. Although, Tainan, as a bit of a suggestion here, have separate sound sliders for weather, and then just like regular effects like building. You, you ha have like a description of... of what I meant to say is, so there's two volume sliders. There's a volume slider for game volume and music volume. Music volume's good, game volume's a little bit eh. You need one for weather, you need one for, like, warnings, I guess, would be one. And then you could have, like, a game volume generic one, which would just be, like, the building, the gunfire, and all those things. That'd be an idea. Anyway, let's back to the game. Everybody has a gun now, which is good. We are able to defend ourselves a lot more, more efficiently. And thankfully, it's not just a dry thunderstorm. If it was a dry thunderstorm, we'd be in a little bit of trouble. We'd have to send everybody out there to... You treat him, please. Get a severe illness. Oh, his immunities. extreme though it's a lot of pain very very low consciousness I hope he doesn't die because we could use a fourth We have power. We have lights. And I will actually need to make a bill to make kibble. So we will do until we have 100 or 250 of that. Unfortunately, can't make kibble until we get bone more meat. Fuck. I thought that was going to happen. That's a shame. Trade caravan, what? Wow, thanks for stopping by. Please strip him and then consume his corpse. No, uh, and proceed to bury him, please. Need to get like a little bagpipe to play. we are, especially with all this water, we can probably get away with some wind turbines. But we just need to cut all the plants that are up here. We have a raid going on. Yippee. Attacking immediately. FNP90, UMP45. I think it may be best if we to build if we to build if we were to build a turret just on the outside here just to distract them a bit perhaps they know where they are we get close probably about there I'll call mm. friendlies <gasps> friendlies have arrived. Okay, Johnson, get ready, Thunder, get ready, boy. And Clark, get ready as well. Gonna lock that door so the husky doesn't run out. That's what I thought we need to stop. Oh, you burned the crops, good job. One's dead. Two's dead. Alright, good job. Got 
got some more weapons, which is good. I want you to equip that. I want you to equip that, because those are better. Those are better, just in general. Come on, Mosquito Pony. We appreciate your help, but he's he got away. You know, the Pila and the... Oh. Clark's brother. 42-year-old veteran. Veterinarian. That's different. <laughs> Plus for the animals, but... Only a two? Weird. Oh, he's hard work and cold tolerance of... I mean, shit. Let's go get him. Oh, he's still alive. Ugh. No. No, we need someone who can do dumb labor. Clark, go get your brother, please. Thank you guys for the help, but uh, we realized a little bit arrived a little bit too late. Oh, he's got an armor vest. That's not bad. The game seems a little bit quiet without the volume being higher, but just because of the background noise. Nice peaceful rain to wash away all the blood. Clark, get out here and kill this guy. Nice wins a lot. Idiot. Thank you. Prisoner died. Uh, I th I, we couldn't do anything about that. Come on, Clark, you know. There's nothing we could do. Just died of an infection. Oh, they destroyed our plans for that. that the jerks. Eventually we're going to replace all these steel walls with some stone walls once we get the chance to. It's not bad. It's good value. $3 market value. It's not bad. These two are almost done that. I'm going to get them a little bit of light in here. Just... Just so we can have... And not be as grumpy. I'm going to need to tell them to not mind that. For the current time being. Of course he has. Okay, you will be our hauler. Congratulations. You can do something else now. Uh, you're actually good at craps. You're gonna do that. You're gonna actually be our primary doctor. Which you're good with that. You also plant cut for us. So, Thunder, could you. Treat him, please. Thank you. Ooh, that's a. Uh, that's not good. Just need to keep an eye on him, basically. Okay, 
do you think? Oh, excuse me. Oh, do you think this bigger? And eventually, let's actually complete the wall around here. So maybe make that bigger. Actually, going to need to remove a bit of this. And that is stockpile zone there. So that and that. That will be important over preferred. Those will have our meals in there, excluding, well, actually, it'll just be kibble and our medicine. And this will be important. This will be all our foods. I don't want to put kibble in there. Does that have kibble? That is kibble. Okay, that doesn't need kibble. Let's clear that all again. It's going to be meals minus kibble. This is not going to have any meals, and it will have kibble. Just as an overflow, I suppose. And that's going to go there. And then this is going to be the walk in freezer. Eventually. There we go. Now that it has power, we can actually make some meals now. Gonna need to do that until we have. I usually like doing double the amount of colonists that we have to meals. And that they and in the menu you could see there there is a bill to make four meals. It's the the feed the colonists mod, so it basically gives your colonists the ability to make multiple meals at the same time for reduced it takes more time obviously because you're making four meals rather than one. But hey, it's a good way to speed things up a little bit. And they'll they'll carry you know 40 of a material over there to cook it. And see, there he goes. And he's going to cook that. And he's going to put it down there. And there's going to be a bunch of meals for everybody. Now, I actually need to build a food spot in here. Food spot is ready. Um, we'll actually do this because those those have a negative beauty bonus. So they still, yeah, they still do. So, the one our colonist is looking at that, getting all sad, and mopey. We are going to build a little cubby in there. Not necessarily a cubby, but just a little area where they can feed on things they eat. And our turret's up too. That's good. Eventually, we're going to get a. Where's our dog? Now? Thunder. 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 you do. And it got a little wonky because of the grave graves we have there. There we go. Come on, everyone, get better. There you go. Oh, good. I love blights. They're just my favorite. Okay. Gonna get a 
this solar panel too. Let's probably stick this way out here. Oh, spacecraft. Is that close? Oh, that's very close. Yes, please get that. That has components and steel. I still need an indoor storage area. I'll well, probably, once I finish mining out that, I'll finish mining out this, and that, that little back area will be storage for the time being. Treat him, please. That's Clark's brother. We need him alive. Major infection. Hopefully, it doesn't go extreme. He should get immunity before he needs the next treatment. Please. Please, game. I need him. I need him very much. Good. empty grave left. I'm gonna need to dig more. That should be enough. Although with how Cassandra's throwing lots of raids at us. Mm. I'm not even gonna be able to build it up there, so I think that should be good. Oh, they got this up. They're blocked by trees, so that one's actually got a tree stuck on this propeller. That's not good. <laughs> so we need to cut all those trees down before it continues harvesting. Actually, going to need a bit of furniture in here, some equipment racks. We'll put two there. I'm going to need a lot of wood here coming up, so I'm going to... I don't like doing that, though. I, I don't like just chopping down all the forest, because it's nice to look at, you know? Eventually I'm going to have to chop this down, so I'll do that now. And I'm going to put a growing zone in here for trees. I usually like to stick it a little further away, but what I'll probably do is I'll probably turn this whole peninsula here. Turn that whole thing into a uh, tree grow zone. And we'll have it pine trees. Well, you know what? We're going to have it birch, because there's already birch trees there. Good, you guys are done with that? I've been working on a little bit more. We have no. Oh, they moved their medicine. Okay. It's like, gee, they went through like 40 things of glitter world medicine? Glad they didn't. Oh, this one has to go down to 16. There we go. So that one's going to be on low. This one's going to be constantly running. But it makes a nice buffer for it at least. Click on that graph bar there, and we can see how things look. Everything's hideous. Eesh. Oof. These look pretty. Damn it. Better deconstruct those. Did you seriously cut down the other tree? Oh, you jerk. Well, I guess it may, may have been fully grown. see it. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some paved tiles in there. It's a utility closet, so there'll be paved tiles in there. And do those give any beauty bonus? No, they don't. No, 
don't have any tiles either. What does this paved tile do? No, it doesn't give any bonus. There's one beauty for that. Metal tiles. Metal tiles actually have a bit of beauty to them. So that's probably going to be an option for us. Okay, I'm going to say cut back on the plant hall and just, just carry stuff. Please. I'm going to start lending the mine on this. I'm going to work. I'm going to put this into work order. So hopefully it'll start working on that too. Oof. I love flash storms. There go all the trees. Great. Expand the home area so we don't lose all our trees. Once the fire spreads. Yeah, I can expect all those trees. They're gonna be gone. Damn. Is steel in there? Cool. Cool. That's good. It's very good. Oh, and it's fall. Oh, we need a heater in here. Yeesh. Uh, temperature, heater. We'll put this guy. I'm gonna put two of them in there. We set this down to 68 so it doesn't keep it as warm, but... Huh. Everybody's gonna need magas, they've been disturbed in their sleep, but... So please hold on guys, we're gonna, gonna get you bedrooms eventually. This door, you can keep that door open. Machinery. Ooh, nice. That's good too, because we're gonna be digging back here more. I wonder what else is in here? There's probably a patch of plastic steel in here somewhere. But with how big this is up here, I'd say there's definitely gonna be oh. Johnson. Somebody insulted him. Why would you do that to Johnson? He does good work. You know, he's gonna be walking out in the rain for a bit. Oh, well, at least the uh, rain here is not the flash, it's not the fire from the flash from spreading too much. Cancel those cuts. That's, that's like such a far distance. I don't understand how that's blocked, but I guess if you want to. Johnson, put your clothes back on. Christ. Well, at least he kept his pants on. There goes pants. As soon as they're gonna say, I was gonna say this. This is gonna take off his pants. He took off his pants. They'll usually break out of their mental state as soon as they start going hungry. So yeah, he'll be starving soon. So I was gonna hopefully put his pants back on. And look at all this this power that we're generating that's not hooked up because no one's building the damn conduit. Isn't that Johnson's job? No. Thunder. 
he should break out of his mental state soon. Hunger is usually the, uh, here it goes. Need you get your, um, FN90 back, pal. Raid? What? AMW? Pump shotgun? Here we go. Grenades! Lots of grenades! Oh, good. Oh, friggin' great. Alright, folks. Um, you need a gun, buddy. Equip that. Johnson, get you up there. Actually, I'll put you down there since you got a closer range weapon. You go there. Clark. Come on out, buddy. Job, guys. He's a defector. Erotic via tail, blood loss, bloodlust, adhesion. Yeah, he's no. Gone bad. Buffalo gone wild. Nice. Good job, turret. Good. Glad to see the building that. Is that all hooked up now? It is. Yeah, we got power, baby. I want you to actually start sweeping up the place, because it is gross. Especially on here. Clean, start cleaning in here. See, as he does that, the beauty and the cleanliness go up. Also affects the impressiveness, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave that. That's fine. I may... I may move them indoors here, but if I'm gonna do that, I need to clean this place up a bit. But, ooh, I just realized I'm running over time. So, thank you all for watching. Until next time, folks. Till then, more Rimworld. Toodles.